to Uganda. First of all, Museveni is now working on getting rid of presidential age limit. This is his fifth time. No, so you think the man wants to run for another army? I don't know. I don't understand. But, but why? But why? Now with the alarming rate of unemployment in Uganda and also despite the economy slowing down to 3.9%, you guys will not believe what the government is doing. They just issued a new dress code through a circular warning, <laughs> through a circular warning by the Ministry of Public Service. I was like, seriously, this is what we are focusing on. It is addressed to both male and female, all non-uniformed civil servants. Let's start with the men. They said that men must wear long sleeve shirts, long sleeved shirts with jackets and ties. I was like, irony, irony. What if they are feeling hotty? As in, when the weather is hot, they must still put on their suit. Eh? And then they said that no tight fitting trousers for men. I was like, father, what happens if the wife wants her husband to wear tight fitting trousers? Eh, what happens? Some women actually like when their men are wearing tight fitting trousers. I'm just saying, I'm not saying that I'm one of them. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, how does this help Ugandan economy is what me I'm trying to find out. Let's move on to women. Oh, by the way, don't you think it is ridiculous that men are the ones that tell women how to dress? I'm just saying. Anyway, so they said that uh, female staff, no more cleavage. As in, uh, you don't have to show it. They know what cleavage is. Get out. So um, they said that no more cleavage. And uh, they said no more bright nail colors. <laughs> Or multicolored nail nail polish. I was like, seriously, see how does the color of my nails affect my productivity? <laughs> affect my productivity. They also said that no more long nails longer than three centimeter. And of course, they said no more hair extensions <laughs> for women. That means no more Brazilian hair, no more Peruvian hair, no more Indian hair. Fanta! Oh my God, this is interesting. So you mean women's hair is now affected? <laughs> Affecting productivity in Uganda. I don't get this people. <laughs> but you know the one that got me the most? They said no more braids. I was like, are you insane? <laughs> Have I Asia or people? At least I thought hair braiding is African. You know, <laughs> everything is braiding. Maybe they don't know the meaning of hair braiding. Whether you add attachment or you don't add attachment, braiding is still braiding. Cornrow all back like we do in secondary school. It is braiding. So no more fake hair and we cannot braid our own hair. So what are we supposed to do with our hair? Ugandan government. And then they said that no sleep and no transparent blouses. They said no sleeveless, so can you believe? And look at me, I put this on thinking that I look fly. Oh, by the way, let me know if you like it in the comments. <laughs> I just hope they don't ban people from watching my show in Uganda because I'm wearing sleeveless. Anyway, <laughs> I feel for Michelle Obama, you know? They would have fired her if she was in Uganda. They would say, first lady, you are fired because you are wearing sleeveless. <laughs> don't you love her ab? <laughs> Please don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that women should dress indecently or that men should dress indecently. I'm just saying that is not what the government should focus on. I hope you guys are paying attention to the fact that the list on the women's side is already more than double of the men. <laughs> It's already more than double of the one on men's side. So, so you see what I'm trying to say. And then they said makeup for women must be kept simple and not exaggerated. You know, to some extent, I actually agree with that. <laughs> because I found out that some women, <laughs> I meet them a number of times. But the day I meet them without makeup, it's like I can't recognize them. <laughs> I cannot recognize them. So, <laughs> but what I don't know is why this is an issue. I don't know why this is what we are focusing on right now. In Uganda, what, who cares? about how somebody draws their eye pencil or their eyebrows. Why should I care about somebody else's makeup when I have issues to deal with on my own? This government is jobless, seriously. Somebody has been president since 1986, 31 years ago. And shouldn't you be talking about how you can kick him out so you can give other people the opportunity to make the country better? You were busy talking about cleavage. You are talking about, I, I, once again, take it down. Shabby, I just told you that they know the meaning of cleavage. Ah. Anyway, they are busy talking about somebody's uh, cleavage. You got that. You need to get your acts together, Ujade. Get your acts together. Women wearing sleeveless is not your problem. Men wearing tight pants is not the reason that unemployment rate is so high. You need to focus on getting rid of corrupt officials, you know, starting with the president and all kinds of corrupt ministers. Ah, stop staring at uh, somebody's nail color, Ujade. You guys not doing much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real.